everybody, Charles for HumbleMechanics.com. Today, we're gonna to be testing out 3M's Intake System Cleaner. So I met the folks from 3M at the SEMA show and they asked me to test out a few of their products. And I thought, what a great opportunity to one, test out some of their cleaners, and two, maybe do a little bit of maintenance on the GTI. So this is intake manifold cleaner. This is meant to clean intake manifolds, combustion chambers, and as well as not only clean, but prevent carbon buildup. Now in the kit, you get this can 8.75 ounces of cleaner. It also has a really long straw in order for you to put this in the intake, which is great because then that means it fits a lot of different applications. And don't worry about the straw coming out of the can. I tried to pull it, you would have to intentionally pull this straw out in order for it to come out. So there's no worry about this popping off and spraying cleaner everywhere or this getting pulled into the intake manifold. There's also a really great locking tab on the top so you don't have to jam the button down the entire time you're running this cleaner through your engine. And it took me a little bit of time to realize that. So if you guys are using this, know that there's a lock on this. You just have to press it down all the way and it'll hold it and the cleaner will automatically be sprayed in. We are going to be testing this product on my 1998 Volkswagen GTI VR6. The car has about 137,000 miles on it and the maintenance history is unknown. Based on the condition and some of the things you guys are gonna see in a minute, it's probably not been maintained the greatest. So this is an opportunity to really put this 3M stuff to the test. I wanted to make sure that before I did the cleaning, I took some pictures and some video of what it looked like in the throttle body and in the intake manifold, as well as on the tops of the pistons. You can see the throttle body's very, very dirty. And as we go into the intake manifold, while the bore scope's not great, you can see all that reflective, all that you're seeing in there is carbon buildup, oil deposits, and gunk. I also tried to go in through the brake booster port and try and get a look in there, but this intake manifold is separated, so the only thing I had any chance of seeing there would have been the valves on the last intake runner. Now I tried to pull the intake manifold up a little bit to give you guys an even better look at how dirty the inside of this intake was. You can see it's really dirty, a lot of sticky oil everywhere in the intake manifold. Next, I went ahead and pulled a spark plug to get a look in the cylinder. You can see the top of the spark plug is all kinds of crudded up with carbon buildup. This is kind of what you would expect at 137,000 miles on a car that really wasn't maintained great. In addition to that, you can see the spark plug is pretty nasty too, so I'm adding that on the list of things that need to be done. All right, so let's look at how this product works. What we need to do is we need to loosen the intake boot and install the straw so that the end of it is facing the throttle body. Now, there's different applications, so depending on what kind of car you're using this, it can be really easy or a little bit tricky. It wasn't too bad on the GTI. I was able to go in right at the throttle body, and then because of the curve of the tube, it pointed right at it. So you're gonna have to kind of work on your own application and make sure that the end of the straw is pointing directly at the throttle body. We also wanna make sure that we're following each step on the bottle, as well as being very safe. Don't do this inside of your garage. Make sure you're wearing safety glasses. Remember that it's up to you to make sure that everything you do, you're doing in a safe manner. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start the car up. We're gonna hit the button and lock it down. You wanna bring the car up off idle. They recommend 500 to 1000 RPM above your idle speed. So that's gonna be anywhere from 1300 to almost 2000 RPM, depending on what kind of vehicle we're doing this on. If you have a car with a cable throttle body, you can hold it right at the throttle body. This does take about 15 minutes, so I wouldn't recommend that. The easiest way is gonna to be to sit in the car and keep the RPM up or if you have a throttle depressor, go ahead and use that. On the cars with electric throttle bodies, you really don't have a choice but to sit in the car and hold your foot on the gas pedal to bring the RPM up. Like I mentioned, this takes about 15 minutes. That's according to the can. When I did it, it took about 12. There is a tiny little bit left in the can, but I would plan for 15 to 20 minutes in order for all the product to be used out of the can. Now, during this process, I didn't see any smoke coming out of the tailpipe. I also didn't really experience the vehicle misfiring at all. I kind of expected plumes and plumes of smoke to be coming out of the tailpipe. And other than one tiny puff, I didn't really get anything. After you run the product until the can is empty, go ahead and pull the straw out, put your intake boot back on, and make sure that anything else you took off is re-secured. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that same spark plug that I pulled beforehand so we can investigate on what it looks like in the cylinder now versus what it looked like before we started. You can see there's still a lot of carbon on the top of the piston. Also, the spark plug's still pretty nasty, but you'll notice something really interesting. 
The top of the piston before was a lot drier looking carbon than it is now, so it may take some time before we reach the full potential of this product. The fact that it is wet means that we could experience a breakdown of some of this carbon as we put more miles on our vehicle after doing this treatment. All right guys, I'm gonna put this spark plug back in, put the wire on, snap the wires down all nice the way they were, put my plate on, and I'm gonna take this car on a test drive to see how it does. All right, so after a test drive around the block, I was surprised I still didn't really get any smoke. There was one point on a full throttle acceleration that there may have been a little, but not nearly what I expected. So overall, the 3M intake cleaner did do something. We see the before and after of the throttle body, we see the before and after of the piston, and we can see a difference. Did it take it from as dirty as it was to looking brand new? Absolutely not. But I don't know that that's a reasonable expectation for a product like this. Remember, this vehicle had an unknown maintenance history, so something like this has probably never been done. Not only do we not know the maintenance history, but we don't know the driving history. It could have been someone that never achieved full throttle acceleration. And honestly, I don't drive the car that hard either. Don't get me wrong, I put the pedal to the floor when I want, but I'm not in the throttle all the time. So again, I think it's a lot to ask of a product like this to take it from as dirty as it was to brand new, but that's not to say it didn't work. As we saw, there were minor differences. I would guess that if we wanted to get it really clean, we'd probably need to run a treatment like this two or three times before we really started to see that carbon go away. There was one thing that I noticed that I was incredibly surprised by. The car did drive different. It did feel a little bit more peppy than it had uh, on any other drive that I've driven. And the only thing we did was this 3M treatment. I felt like the throttle body response was a little bit better. And again, it did feel, you know, on the butt dyno, so to say, that the car had a little bit more power. Not that we got a horsepower increase from this treatment, but it's like we're getting a little bit back that was lost over the 137,000 miles of the car. So let's wrap it up. Did the 3M cleaner work? Yes, I think it did work a little bit. Did it, again, did it take it from completely dirty to brand new? No, it didn't. But that's a lot to expect out of a product. Would I use it again to try and do it on the GTI? I probably would. In fact, I have their throttle body cleaner that I'm gonna do and a test next to see what, how well that cleans the throttle body. In the $26 price point for just this can or the roughly $40 price point for the whole kit, which is this, the throttle body cleaner and treatment that goes in your tank, I think that's a pretty good deal. You know, if you did that maybe once a year, it would probably prevent the vehicle from getting as bad as my car was. And then over time, it'll continue to break down that carbon. All right, guys, there you have it, the 3M intake system cleaner with this crazy long straw that, again, I'm pulling pretty hard and it's not coming out. So no need to worry about the straw coming out. But I'm gonna wrap it up there. If you guys have any questions or comments, post it in the comments section below. Hey, if you like the video, throw it a thumbs up on YouTube. I always appreciate that. You can also subscribe on YouTube or on the blog at humblemechanic.com. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the blog, and obviously here on YouTube. I'll put links to this 3M stuff down in the show notes for you guys to check it out. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.